Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I have yet another wig restoration. Yes, I have here a pile of wigs from Coco Montrese. Yes, she gave me a pile of wigs to work on just in case I got bored and wanted to like entertain myself with styling hair for her. Yes, <laughs> that's our friendship. Now I'm gonna dig through this bag um, and I'm gonna figure out exactly what wig we're gonna restore today. Let's see, let's go through this. Okay, there's this one. That's interesting. There's also this brown one. That could be interesting too. Only three left, wow. I really went through that many wigs of Coco's? Okay, and there's also this one, which seems like a worthy adversary. But I'm trying to pull a double today, so we're gonna put you to the side. I think we're gonna go with the brown. Yes, we're gonna do the brown. But before we start, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is one of the leading brands in men's grooming, and I ought to know, being James Manscaped. Not trademarked, that's not my name yet. It is a great product. You can get things like the Lawnmower 4.0, the sleek, sexy new design of a groin razor from Manscaped, or get it partnered up with their perfect package, where you get their razor, plus a bunch of other accoutrements to suit your shaving fancy. <laughs> And I'm gonna let you on a little secret. If you use my code, James M, you'll save 20% off plus free shipping. What a deal! Oh my God, get Manscaped today. Now let's get started. I'm gonna put this wig on the head and get it pinned down and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, now the wig is all pinned onto the head. Let's get started on brushing her out so that we can figure out what exactly we can style this into or at least what the wig was before. Now I've done a little bit of research and it seems that she wore this wig relatively as is. Like it was just kind of flat to her head. We don't do flat hair on this channel. No siree bop. So we're gonna give this hair a bit of a new lease on life. Some volume, some pump, all of it. And you may be wondering, James, what is that wig on your head? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. This is actually the prom queen available at James Mansfield Beauty. It's a new premium hard front. That's right. 250% density on the top of this wig, girl. Oh my gosh. There is so much hair on the top of this wig that you can just play around with it and do all sorts of stuff. I feel kind of like um, Rita Moreno in West Side Story. Chino, Chino, no. Why do we all talk like this? Why did they all talk like that in that movie? Like that weird, like 20th century Fox accent that no matter where you're from, you sounded Italian. Everyone sounded like Anna Magnani. Yeah. <laughs> I think Rita Moreno called that the universal accent. Or, if you want to keep it in modern times, everybody sounded like Lady Gaga and House of Gucci. That's true. That is very, very true. The father, the son, the House of Gucci. Or is, is how is she saying? Like, her accent is so hard to place. Like, sometimes it sounds Russian, sometimes it sounds Italian. But I'm sure she'll win an Oscar. I'm keeping the spirits good, you know, because my colleague, Lady Gaga, I want her to give everything in life, you know? I want all the successes for colleagues I've worked with in the past. Nothing but success. Oh, okay, so this is actually brushing out fairly nice. Like, look at that beautiful curl pattern that was in it. Come on now. Okay, so like I said before in my last Coco Montrese video, her wigs are always probably the best maintained I've ever had to deal with as far as like queens that give me their secondhand wigs to do something, to do something with. I usually never have problems with hers. All the tangles are coming out fairly easy. And let's just do the top look. What the hell is this? What is that? Oh my God, what is that? What in the world? There seems to be something glued on top of this. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Let's do some exploring. Oh my gosh, this is new and exciting. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing hot glue marks. Someone got a little crafty with this. Coco, was this you? Okay, um, oh wow. Okay, okay, I see what they did. Someone took the scalp off of a, a hard front wig and they glued it right behind the hairs here that's ventilated on the wig. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe to give it more volume, but that is interesting. Like I could see, this is with the other side where it picks up. Okay, you know, now that we know that, that's something I've never seen before on this channel. <laughs> you know what, that just means we're gonna get twice the volume. That's the way I'm gonna look at it. Someone completely refronted this wig in the past. I love that, okay. That is clever. Okay, now she is thoroughly brushed out. And she already brushes out to something really beautiful. 
I'm gonna play around with that because I'm seeing some stuff here. We could do something very like dreamy, like, you know, old Hollywood dreamy with these nice wave pattern that's in it. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's start. Now I know some of you asked in the comment section, James, why don't you wash those wigs before you style them? Because I'm not clogging up my sink with all these drag queens old makeup, okay? I'm not doing that. They don't pay me enough to do that, okay? I'll re-tease it for you, but I ain't washing your hair. You're lucky if I even clean your lace. Now that's a special service, and I don't have to clean this lace because I did it beforehand. All right, now I'm gonna get a tea started and I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, we are back. Now I have the hair all teased out. That's how she looks. Let's try and find a style in this. <laughs> I already started packing down to the roots here because I want the hair to like really stand up stiff right here, you know, be really nice and solid for when I actually style it into something. Okay, this is not bad. I like this. Oh God, there's that piece again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It like peeks out at you like, hello. Oh my gosh. There it is. I can, oh my goodness. Okay, well, we'll work around that. We'll come back to that section. Let's do this part right here for now. <laughs> that looks like it's going to take a little bit of added attention. Smoothing, 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 smoothing. I think I see what this hair kind of reminds me of. Do you guys remember when Lady Gaga was promoting Art Pop and she had like that big old mop on her head, like this lady, like the seashell bikini and everything? That's what she's giving. Which reminds me, I went to the house of Gaga in the Las Vegas here and that wig was a lot smaller in person than I expected. It was really tiny. Like, it was clearly a double stack, but like, you don't realize just how small she is until you see her stuff in person. Like, she is teeny, teeny, tiny. Even I kind of forgot that because like, it was like blinking you miss it when she was on Drag Race. But yeah, she is so small. And it just like was a weird reminder being in there, how surreal it is to see like these things that look so big and grandiose on stage are all really, really teeny tiny in person. I saw that meat dress that's now just beef jerky. Like it's all hardened. And it was interesting to see just how a lot of that stuff was made, you know, cause like looking at it up close, it's like super drag. Like you can see like the hot glue marks and everything. And it looks very much like, you know, crafted, which you don't really expect because it looks so stunning from, you know, 50 feet away. That's drag girl, that's drag. I don't know, it was kind of like a nice little humbling thing. Like, oh wow, okay, like yeah, like, Maybe the stuff that we make ourselves at home is, you know, good enough to be on stage like that. Especially if, like, she's a superstar and she wears that and I can see the flaws and the stuff up close. Maybe I shouldn't scrutinize my own drag so much. Ooh. All right. Yeah, she's giving, like, an old Hollywood moment. All right. This curl pattern I am very, very familiar with because I remember like every wig from a beauty salon had this curl pattern for like the longest time. They've since switched over to like more loose curls, but like this nice like wavy beach set was in every single wig for like years and years and years. Smoothing, smoothing. You already know. And it's a bit of a frizz monster in some places, but I can clip that, you know? Again, it's used hair, so you can't expect too much. I've had wigs that I've fully like washed, reset, re-steamed and everything and it still has that problem because like the hair, after a while, it's broken down, girl. You're not gonna get it brand new. All right, well, I'm gonna work around the back and work my way towards the front and we're gonna tackle this together because this whole section here, we're gonna need to like, you know, have a brainstorm, figure out exactly what's going on there, all right? So I'm gonna smooth out this section in the back and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now I have it all smoothed out in the back. It looks gorgeous, honestly. Like this is a really pretty curl pattern in this. Yes. Now we're confronting the front right now, okay? I'm gonna start by just packing in as much teasing in this as possible because I feel like if I do that, it should help mask, you know, whatever it is that's glued onto here. <laughs> now let's push some of this back so it can join the rest and create some volume in the back because with that thing on top of it, when I smooth it out and try and like do something with it, I was playing around with it on the break, it makes it look like really weirdly shaped. Like it's too flat here and like really flat in the back. So I'm gonna try and add some volume to the back that's not necessarily there. You know, a little bit of cushioning. Letting the hair just rest there. Okay, that way the hair has a bit more balance and I can just lightly blend it with the rest of the back. Just gently touching the top of the hair there. So that adds a little bit more volume to the top. Okay, 
Because that was bothering me is the fact that like the hair had no balance in the back. It just like plateaued. All right, now let's tackle this front section. <sighs> okay, these little bangs are killing me. It almost looks like 80s bangs. <laughs> Like she looks like Sarah Connor from the like from Terminator, like the later movies. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, those movies. I should not have been watching those as a kid, but you know what? Here we are. Coco Montries as Sarah Connor. I would watch that. <gasps> yes. I want to see her fight the Terminator. Oh my God. Okay. So this section here, let me stop distracting myself. I'm going to try and do sort of like a peekaboo bang and see what we can do, but it's going to take a little bit of effort. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. Doing the gentlest flicks because if it goes wrong, it's gonna screw up everything in the front. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh god, I'm like catching the littlest bits of hair, trying to get it to form something. And I think I might have actually done it. Let me not speak too soon, otherwise, you know, I could screw myself up and it happens here live on camera. There it is. Because she loves that peekaboo bang. Every time I do it, she always requests that. I don't know why, because it just gets caught in your face. As I've mentioned before on this channel, I love the idea of a peekaboo bang, just, you know, not the practice of it, because you're just constantly like <laughs> trying to get it out of your face. Okay, I see some sections like this right here is a real big hole I have to cover up. So let's see if I can fix that. But otherwise, she's looking just about ready. I just have to like really make her solid because even though this is kind of small for my standards, on her, it's gonna look gigantic because she's got one of those little, you know, teeny, teeny, tiny heads, so I'm not even worried about it. You know, a costume bob would look big on her. A Betty Boop wig would look like a double stack on her head. Okay, pick. Let's try and fix this hole. And what I'm doing here is I'm just taking little bits of the hair in the front and pulling them forward and undoing the teasing on it so that I can use those to go with the rest of the hair. Look at y'all learning stuff, oh my gosh. This is the part of hairdressing that's a little bit, you know, tedious and some might say it's boring, but you have to like know how to do it in order to get hairstyles that are like presentable. Like there's no way around it. You kind of have to do that. Oh, that's what I was talking about. The wrong move and everything goes awry. God damn it. All right, we'll come back to that thing again. God damn it. I'm just gonna start pulling the hair out now. Okay, add a bit more volume back. Now she's got a bit more height to her. That's cute. Little Raquel Welchie, like 1970s Raquel Welch, my favorite era when she just wore the most ignorant, gigantic hair. Like look at her on What's My Line. Ugh, obsessed. Or even like Pam Greer or Tina Turner, they always wore hair like this too. Like that big bouffant with like the swoop and those classic curls. So beautiful. Okay, she's actually coming together. Let me just do this. Pull my palm against it to keep that peekaboo going in the direction I want. Gorgeous! Oh my god. That is pretty much the final result. Now I'm gonna do some finishing touches on it and I'll be right back with this revamped Coco Montrese hairstyle. <laughs> All right, I am back. Oh my gosh, this is the final result. I think she looks gorgeous, yes. I love doing wig restorations. It's like one of my favorite things to do, just taking like wigs and like seeing the story they tell or like what you can build out of them. You know, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this and Coco, I hope you enjoyed this wig. She hasn't seen it yet. So I'm excited to see what her reaction is once I send her the photo. I'd like to take a moment, a Ven moment, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Meg, Sergio, and Robin. <laughs> thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. Now, this was so much fun to do, and I have a couple other wigs, but I'm debating whether or not I want to do those for restorations. If you guys want to see it, let me know. Now, this was so much fun to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now, hit the outro. <laughs> Click here and speak of a Britney Spears doll, a drag makeover, or so you restore the Del Rubio triplets' actual wigs. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll break your kneecaps. So click it.